What is going on guys, Eagle Aquatics back here and in this episode of the 125 gallon series I'm going to be going over the sump, my custom made sump, we finally finished it. Um, I'm going to be doing a uh, time lapse of it, of us building it and uh, how it all went in this video. for installing the baffles um, to get them set in place uh, before we glued them we actually put like little uh, dabs of hot glue I think uh, four dabs for one in here little ones uh, marked it with a sharpie uh, so it's perfect perfect 90 degrees and uh, then we went over them with some a uh, marine land aquarium sealant 100% aquarium safe uh, silicone the whole thing uh, this first chamber is watertight, the refugium's watertight, and uh, that's about it. Uh, but that's how we installed them. Uh, if you're wondering how to install the baffles, yeah, hot glue works great. You just need a few um, drips on each baffle, holds them perfectly in place. And these little uh, cubes right here, uh, we just cut them individually out of that piece of acrylic that I bought. Uh, hot glued them in first and then siliconed around them so they're waterproof. Uh, so that's how I, I installed my baffles um, and I cut them with the table saw also to, or my dad cut them with the table saw to get them uh, perfectly precise and have uh, perfect edges. Um, but now I'm j I finished it so I'm gonna go over how the whole thing's gonna work and how I designed it. So this is a 40 gallon breeder. I picked it up from PetSmart for I think $70 you could get them for. And then I bought some, uh, I think it's quarter inch acrylic, a big sheet of it from Menards. I think that cost them 50 bucks. So for that price, um, if you build your own sump, you save a ton of money as for say buying like a trigger system sump, which costs like 400 bucks. Uh, it, it can get, be very expensive. So if you just build your own, you could save a ton of money. Uh, this only cost me like $140 not even uh, plus the equipment which you could forget about that that's a separate cost but uh, the sump alone 
save me a lot of money and that was the whole idea of this. So, we have the first chamber right here. Uh, now this is where the water is gonna come down from the main display into here. Fill up, fill up two nine inches, which probably roughly holds around eight gallons of water in this. And then it's gonna flow down here, down this first baffle, underneath here, the middle one, back over, another nine inch baffle right here. This is gonna be the refugium, which again, probably holds about 10 gallons, maybe not even, um, which I'm gonna fill that. I'm gonna go over that next. And then it's gonna flow over here through these egg crates that I designed. We put little ledges right here. So we'll hold the egg crates up. It's gonna go flow down here and then back into the return pump side. Uh, so these egg crates are for like my chemical filtration, which is gonna be like, um, like Chemipure, carbon, phosphate remover, stuff like that. Chemical filtration right there. Uh, so we'll get tons of water current through there to polish the water and everything. So yeah, let me get all my equipment in here and then uh, we'll be back. Okay guys, so I got all the equipment in. So in the first chamber, we have the or my Aqua C protein skimmer. I think this is the 10,000 model. Uh, I bought it used with the tank that I bought. It came with it, so I'm definitely gonna use it. Should work really good. And I have an Active Aqua 800 gallons per hour um, return pump feeding this skimmer uh, through this outlet right here, or input. And uh, it should work very good. Uh, I heard this is a good pump around here. Here it is. 800 gallons per hour. I heard this skimmer runs best between seven and eight, or seven and 900 gallons per hour running through it. So I chose to meet in the middle with 800 gallons per hour. The water's gonna flow through. I'm gonna hard pipe this system. It's gonna be with all PVC and everything. It's gonna come down one uh, input into the sump. One tube's gonna drain all the water into a filter sock. Uh, this is a four inch uh, sock holder that I just had. I think I'm gonna go with a seven inch um, because they're just one uh, tube draining water down into here. So I think a seven inch sock would work better um, because I'm gonna only have one piece of mechanical filtration. So I'll probably get a seven inch uh, sock holder. And then like I said, it's gonna go drain into here, into the refugium, which I'm gonna put sand, uh, maybe a BioPure uh, marine block in here. I've heard those are really good. So maybe one of those, but uh, probably just gonna do sand, a bunch of live rock, put some herb crabs, like shrimp in here and everything uh, to eat all the detritus. I'm gonna have like chato, uh, some mangrove roots, stuff like that uh, to have a really good um, refugium set up here to make my tank as effective as it could be. And with the heater, I'm gonna go with our most trusted name in heaters, which is the Aheim Jaeger. Eheim Jaeger uh, heater. This one's rated for 159 gallons. Uh, it's really big. I don't know if it's gonna fit uh, totally good in here, but I'll make it fit. But I've heard this is the best heater you can buy for what it cost. So definitely picked up one of that. It's shatterproof, which is really good too. Uh, for the for chemical filtration, I'm probably gonna go with some Fosgard, uh, Chemi Pure Blue. Uh, Maybe some other stuff down there along the path. That's why I put two rows in here so I could just add more. And then for the return pump, I went the, with the JBO uh, DCP 10,000, which is, I think is rated for 2,500 gallons per hour. Um, you wanna cycle your tank 10 times the amount of gallons your actual tank is. So mine would be 1,250 gallons. Increased it because I'm gonna hard pipe my system. So this one's gonna put out 2,500 gallons per hour, uh, depending on what I set the controls to. So it's more than enough. It's gonna be more than enough for my system. So I've heard really good reviews on that and it's one of the cheapest pumps you could buy. So uh, for the money and it's really, really good quality and it comes with a lot of stuff. Here's the box. It comes with a uh, controller, which is huge. I really wanted the controller so you could control your flow. Uh, so that's gonna be completely awesome. Uh, so I can't wait to show you guys how this whole thing's gonna work. I'm gonna show you guys the test and it finally installed in the tank once I get the tank set up. And uh, this is gonna be it. So it should make my tank extremely efficient. As for the tank, 
That's what this, I got some black aquarium sealant for it and you're gonna see why. So it's still sitting back here in my basement um, storage room. I took both overflows off, removed them both, cleaned them. They look a hundred times better than they did. They look very good. The reason these are all broken because somebody in the last tank uh, had a coral growing. I think it was a monopora or something because you can see all the lines. It was breaking through the overflow. That's no big deal though because I'm gonna have uh, probably gonna have some more corals growing on the overflow, so it's not gonna be a problem. Uh, so I went through, cleaned all these. That black aquarium sealant is to re-silicone them in place. Uh, so that's gonna go really good. So they're gonna sit like that, all clean. And uh, cleaned all the algae off, as you guys can see. The tank is in perfect condition. Re-siliconed it a little bit, um, but it should go perfectly. And along with buying the uh, aquarium used, he gave me two brand new Megaflow, Aquion Megaflow uh, overflow kits for those two Megaflow um, overflows in this system. So they're brand new, never used. I'm gonna go through a video setting those up and my whole system, like piping it and everything, and it's gonna be a cool video. So make sure you stay tuned for the whole 125 gallon reef aquarium series because I'm gonna be coming out with a ton of videos that you guys will want to see, including more on the sump or on the tank. And eventually the tank will be totally filled with a ton of corals and new fish. Uh, so can't wait to show you guys. If you guys got any questions about how I'm gonna run this thing or questions about your own systems, make sure to drop a comment down below. Uh, I answer all of them like this video, follow me on Instagram at Eagle Aquatics, no uppercase letters, all lowercase. And uh, I post exclusive stuff about this tank and all my other tanks. So make sure you follow me on there. Thank you guys for watching again. As always, see you later.